there it is. Here we are. We are at the SEMA show 2019 and uh, red carpet experience. I'm over here by the drift section, continental drift, and uh, they're burning some tires. This is me driving through Dallas on a normal occasion. the smell of burning rubber in the morning. Right, we're inside one of the outbuildings. I love the outbuildings the most because that's where the smaller companies and the entrepreneurs are. And uh, we're, we're going to go visit Rag Company uh, because a friend of mine has his car there. Let's take a look. Yeah. How you doing? Oh my god, it's been almost two weeks since How I've seen you. How you doing, dude? <laughs> it's been almost like two weeks since I've seen you. Yeah. The car looks fantastic. Oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> what an amazing pay job. Yes. Just, I was just watching my live feed at my shop. Yeah. And like five minutes ago, they just dropped off 82 Trans Am mm -hmm. that was painted black um, for our next Knight Rider build. Okay. And I was saying, I wish we could get this guy to paint our car because. Hey, I'm here. Look at Let's this thing. It out. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> I, I can't dog my own stuff, but it does not look as good as this. It's, you know, Trust just a, me. Yeah. But I'm in uh, Dallas. You're too far away. I yeah. can't, you know. Can always this thing was in Orlando. That's true. A couple days ago, right? I'm so where's your shop at? Orlando, Florida. Okay, you're in Orlando. Well, you know, next time I come out to visit you, I'll just bring a Trans Am. We're building three Knight Rider cars right now. Mm -hmm. We have a screen used car that was from Knight Rider 2000. It's got to be painted red. Mm -hmm. And that's our one of our next projects for museum. So normally Broncos, I do DeLoreans. Uh, movie cars, replicas, DeLoreans, uh, Knight Riders, uh, Ghostbusters cars, that sort of thing. Yeah. I saw the video of the DeLoreans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> normally I do DeLoreans and they don't require paint, except for the bumpers, mm -hmm. which well, we, they, which they we do in house. They require PDR. Yeah, well, the, the original water-based material isn't available anymore, so what we use uh, is, uh, a, it's about 600 a gallon. Mm -hmm. But we just paint it right in our shop. We just bag the car, paint it, and because um, the factory was a mat. First couple of, uh, like the very first couple hundred cars were done in gloss, and then they realized that didn't look good, so they started matting them. So doing it in matte, we can do it right in the shop, and there's usually no trash in it. We just... I remember, well, it's like back in the 90s, we did a paintless stem removal on a DeLorean. Mm -hmm. And what? in order to do paintless stem removal, you need reflection. There's no reflection. Yeah. So we got really creative. It's Great hard. Water, and we were able to see some reflection and uh, fix the dent. So it really it's, cool. it's hard to do it. All right, let's take a look at this uh, orange Lamborghini. Man, it looks great. And also the, the, the coating that he put on it, you can't tell that there's a coating on it. You know, getting in real close, you can see that sparkle. It looks fantastic. Color sand and buff twice. Wow. After we did the paint job, it was color sand and buff, so it looked just like that. Then we installed the clarity coat, and then color sand and buffed it again. And that was, thank God that Justin was able to do that. But that was so many hours. Now what is the value of a paint job? Somebody brings you this car and they go, I, I need this paint job. How much does that cost? Pretty much what I mentioned to Barry's at the beginning, it was going to be about 40,000, just the man hours. If you want to make a profit. For, yeah, <laughs> exactly, if, yeah. If you don't make a profit, yeah, you know, but in order no, to No, I run a, a shop, profit, I know. My, yeah. my guys are at work racking up bills right now. Yep, so yeah, we were doing the math, six, six close to 700 hours. Wow. This thing was bad. It had uh, Oh, about, we saw. It was bad. You know, the layers of paint was really bad, and uh, it was just a lot of work. <laughs> Man, but it looks good. I mean, it, definitely the value of this car, being a screen-used car, after a full restoration, the custom interior paint, I, I don't know what, I don't know cool what I'd put the value. Right? Yeah, he, he should get it appraised and get a stated value policy on it, because you know, if, if if something were to happen to it and uh, all that wasn't accounted for, you know, he'd end up losing it. Yes, but yeah, definitely, you know, people don't appreciate how long it takes and how much work 
only people that know and I appreciate yeah, we that watched, coming from you. I watched eight months of this. Yeah, I've been yeah. building it, so. You, know, you, 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 listen to, you read all the comments and all that. Oh, I do, yeah. You know, everybody's an expert, but, <laughs> you know, it's just a lot of work. But here's the finished product. I hope I didn't disappoint. No, nah, it looks amazing. Let me, let me walk around it, get the full look. The interior came out really great, too. Got, it's got his bat wings up. I can't wait to go for a ride. Now, I'll be back. Uh huh. Be back in Florida, probably. After the show, I think next week. Okay. I got to go back and pick up that other DeLorean. Okay. Uh, I just got an email from a guy saying that he has a Project DeLorean, so I'm, you know, I'm uh, interested. I don't know how much he wants for it, but I figure if I get one, then you you probably know a little thing about those, those I do. cars, right? Yeah. But what I want to know is, yeah, we gonna go for a ride in this car? We can. I mean, not now. It's at the show. Not but now, but next yeah. week oh, at, yeah. your, at your shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, actually, no. So next week, I'm, I'm going to be in L.A. Okay. Uh, so after it gets back, if, yeah. you're, if you're around... Then oh, you're going to go visit... Um, I don't know. I'm going to visit a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. Is Hoobie here? No, no. Hoobie, Hoobie didn't come. No, Hoobie, Hoobie did not. Yeah. Hoobie is, uh, is, is slipping. He's slipping right now. All right. And, and who else skipped out on us? Uh, I don't know, but there's a lot of YouTubers like walking around. I know around, Rob so. Pitts is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think Ed, Ed Bullion's here. Oh, Ed didn't show up. No, no, no. I've been okay. Man, I wanted to say I, I never met him. I wanted to meet him. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. So now I predicted that you were going to get a lot of recognition. Have you been getting a lot of recognition? Have people been I mean, it's recognizing a, you? It's a, it's a, it's basically a car guy meetup. Yeah. It's a, yeah, because I have been. So yeah. like I have what 58,000 subscribers you have almost a million so people bugging me at dinner and stuff like that people waving at me no no me. no it's, so you it, have got to have been sure sure but me. I mean it, it comes with the territory thank you so much uh it comes with the territory and I, I'm just like really I'm, I'm enthusiastic just as everybody else is so I, I'd like to share this stuff with everybody now have you got to walk around the show and see yeah. other stuff yeah yeah what was the coolest thing you've seen so far I don't know everything's cool everything's everything's awesome here you've been like, looking at other Lamborghinis like comparing uh, well, actually, I mean, I, I'd, I'd rather not compare uh, anything because every build is kind of different. I should say compare. I mean, I should say getting inspiration. Getting oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of inspiration here. A lot. I never see DeLoreans here. No, no. I never see Mercy's here either. I, like, yeah. I, I see one. So. Oh, man, it looks great. Well, congratulations. Okay. okay, well, thank you so much. We, well, as viewers and as fans, mm -hmm. we are all really, really proud of this accomplishment. This cool. is a big deal yeah. to, to be here. Thank you. And, and as I told you privately, you know, when you were first driving the car and you were feeling emotional, every one of us have done that. Don't, yeah. don't, be, don't be shy. Oh, because yeah. when yeah, you yeah. finally get to that point and you're in that car that you finally got and you finally did it, mm -hmm. we all reached that part. And uh, I'm just glad you got to. So. Thank you so much. All right, dude. All right. Thanks a lot. Over here in the uh, lifted truck section, also known as the small peanut section, I gotta admit though, that van is badass. I like vans. Look at that van. I do like that van. I feel my penis getting smaller just looking at it. Wow. Here's one of my favorite guys I like to watch. It's Wayne, you, you do uh, some amazing auctions, I think. I've seen you pull a huge money for some of your cars. Yeah, well, we, not all the time. Not all the time. No. And so sometimes you made me afraid to auction a car because I'm about to auction a screen used car and I'm like, I don't know. I think it's worth a million dollars, or maybe not. Well, it's worth what it's worth, what somebody will pay. Now, red and black, my favorite colors, everybody knows that. But And you're now repping Craftsman. Craftsman, you I'm bet. I'm so glad that that brand survived the Sears debacle. Really fantastic tools. I, I got my first box when I was 13 years old, and it uh, meant something special to me because my father made me make payments on it every week at West Hartford Sears store. So I'd go every week with five dollars, ten dollars, whatever I had, <laughs> until the box was paid oh, off. God, I got some of my dad's wrenches, and I think they're probably from the '60s. Yeah. I mean, I remember my friends; they would run around to like pawn shops and, and find them, and then they would take them back and exchange them for new ones because wow. they had that life more. That's great. That's funny, <laughs> but no, this stuff lasts forever. But I, I'm, I love the colors. I have to now switch over all my stuff over to Craftsman just because they're all red and black. That's right. Well, I could see you're a red and black guy, so this new box over here will really go well in your shop. 
I really want this torque wrench over here. That's okay. All right, hey, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. We've got a big line of people, and thank, thank you. you very much. All right, take care. Take care. How's my hair? How's my hair? <laughs> Here at Ed China. Yeah, I have to say now, you've, you've got a book like, out. I have. Ed China. Ed China. Ed China. Go buy it right now on Instagram. Not Instagram, you can't buy it on Instagram. Amazon.com. Anyway, Amazon, Amazon. yes. No, you know what I'll do? I'll post a link to it, and then I'll get money from it. Okay, fine. <laughs> no, so we all watched you on Wheeler Dealers for yep. all those years. And uh, and now and you've got some other stuff you're doing on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, so you've got Garage Revival, which is a pilot we did. We're going to turn that into a main show. We might also end up doing some stuff with the sofa, maybe make a new electric one, make it amphibious. The we've sofa is... Giant shopping trolley. Well, we drove it pretty much all the way here to, to Vegas. We did have a small fire on the way, which is a bit yes. tricky, but let's not talk about that. It was fine. And then we did some stuff with Jelena the other day, which is nice. So, yeah, it's yeah. been it's been cool adventure to see that. I'm loving the interior. We did a car on our show. Uh, we did the Scarface Cadillac, yeah, which okay. is a 63 cream yellow cream pub. Yeah. Nice. But the interior was done in tiger fur, just like this. Cool. So I know exactly what it's like to do this kind of this fur, so it's pretty amazing. Anyway, hey, super cool meeting you. I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Cool I love the pizza steering wheel. This is... Well, exactly. That's, yeah, the, the drink isn't the recorder. Then you have a, that's the, the drinks can there is the brake. Yeah. And you have the Reese's. <laughs> I kind of make it American, so the Reese's bar is actually the gears, so it's all good. Oh, well, you just throw a tunic bar on there or something, yeah. just to, just to <laughs> you know, bring it home. You know, put a wisp on there. So there's got to well, be Well, a... you used to have, like, a, a, a Turkish delight. So in the yeah, Because yeah. having a Turkish is having a laugh. It's dodgy rhyming saying so is casual loafer. So it all makes sense. Put a Yorkie, not for girls on there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <sighs> well, I had a really long and amazing day here at SEMA. Got to hang out with so many of my cool YouTube brethren. Uh, watch JR go, Rich Rebuilds, Tavares. Uh, just, just, uh, I'm, I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. Um, I wish I could have recorded more stuff and uh, shown you guys more stuff but there's always tomorrow and the night's not over so for right now this is uh my daily vlog for sema 2019 and uh maybe there'll be some more stuff coming up soon so hey thanks for hanging out with me video bob mm -hmm.